just a few months ago, it would have been hard to find a more anti-AI writer than me. I was literally on stage saying that AI will not replace the human writer. And I said that with confidence. Now, here I am, the president at Continent Scale, one of the fastest growing AI writers in the SEO space. Today, I wanna to take you away from my desk. That's why we're at one of my favorite thinking places, the lake down my street. And I wanna share with you my journey. This is quite possibly one of the most raw and open videos I've created since walking into this role. And I've been in it a quarter of a year. We live in a time where AI is making its mark on every industry and the world of writing is no exception. But instead of fearing it, let's talk about how we can adapt, evolve and grow. And I'm going to share with you my story. If you're in writing, marketing, or even a combination of those things, maybe you run a business that involves one or more of those things, then you're going to relate to what I'm about to say. In 2012, my career started because of a love for writing. I dropped out of college to pursue how I could make a full-time living doing what I loved, writing. Back then, AI really wasn't even a competitor on the landscape for my skills. Along the way, I built a human writing agency that had over 100 writers at its peak and did over 5 million in sales. I remember back then taking what we called robot writers for a spin. And I laughed in the face of this software. It didn't even come close to a mediocre human writer. Article spinners claimed to be able to write good content, but what I saw was utter garbage. In 2018, I talked to Joe Polizzi, who is known as the godfather of content marketing, and he told me that by 2020, he believed all content creation would be automated. And I'll tell you, I almost laughed in Joe's face because I truly believed AI didn't stand a chance next to a good, high quality human writer that knew their way with words and had real skill. From what I saw in the so-called robot writers back then, I believed we had at least 50 years before AI caught up to the human. Here we are, six short years later, and AI has fully caught up to the human writer. GPT-1 was released in 2018, and it had 117 million parameters. GPT-3 was released in 2020, and it had over 175 billion parameters. It is the largest AI language model on the face of the earth. And I can't believe that we took a leap forward in such a few short years. In November of 2022, when the world was adapting to ChatGPT, I didn't fully believe in what I saw. At the core of marketing that makes a difference is great online content. And the kind of content I write is an article that's over 3,000 words that can persuade, convince, add value, inform, educate, and sell. Inbound content is one of the most powerful forms of marketing there is, if it's done well. And when I tried to use ChatGPT to write this kind of content, it took me far too long. It added hours of work. So I was still vehemently anti-AI, but in January of 2023, all of that changed when I opened a new software and literally in five minutes, I saw it write a 3000 word blog that had the bones of something good. That technology was and is content at scale. And I knew it was going to forever change the game for what I did and millions of other writers. That's why I adapted. The proof was in the pudding. And what I saw in front of me proved to me that the technology is here. As writers, we have an incredible gift, the ability to connect with others through our words. Our creativity and our empathy are what makes us irreplaceable. And now with AI advancing to where it is, we can focus on our strengths and let AI do the rest. To my fellow writers, I say it's time to embrace the change. It's time to adapt and grow together. The truth is, if we don't, we might get replaced. Once all businesses on this planet know that they can create content 10 times more quickly and at less cost, what do you think they're going to do? They're definitely not not going to adapt. And if you're scared of AI, think of it this way. Google's CEO has said that the invention and acceleration of AI to where it is right now is greater than the invention of fire or electricity. If you were sitting in a dark house without heat and somebody said to you, hey, I found out how to bring the light in your house. I found out how to bring the heat into your house. Would you run away from them in fear because you know that fire can burn down cities? No, you wouldn't. You would embrace the heat and the light because of the value 
and the comfort it adds to your life. AI is much the same. If we run away from it screaming in fear and we refuse to adapt, then we refuse to embrace the change that is accelerating business growth forward like no other technology we've seen to date. If your strong suit isn't writing, AI can write for you. If your strong suit isn't data entry, AI can do that for you. True, AI can be used for nefarious purposes, but just like fire and electricity, it's up to us and what we want to do with it. Paul Reitzer, the founder and CEO of Marketing AI Institute, says that AI will impact millions of knowledge workers over the course of the next few years. That's people that think for a living. Writers, marketers, salespeople, programmers, architects, engineers, lawyers, etc. He has looked at this picture a million different ways, done a ton of research, and he said there's no way around it. There's no avoiding it. So he says the first step that we should do is educate ourselves on this new tech, both us and our teams. Get your hands on the right AI tools and start using them in your businesses today. Anne Hanley, a digital marketing pioneer and the Wall Street Journal bestselling author of Everybody Writes, says that AI has now elevated the bar for all of us. She said we need to ask ourselves, can we write better than the robots? And if not, that's where we need to start. We need to improve our writing skills. And secondly, we need to know how to use what the robots don't have. That's insights, emotions, experiences, and our creativity. Mark DeGrasse, the president of Digital Marketer, says that content will get automated and it will get better. He said AI will make good marketers 10 times better. He says all the things we wanted automated anyway will be. And one marketer can do infinitely more content and better content now that AI is this much advanced. Alita Saliz, a leader in SEO, reminds us to think about the limitations of AI that we need to fact check. We need to ensure integrity and accuracy of what we're publishing. One day soon, AI will be able to fact check itself. So you can expect that human work to prompt and guide the AI tool will actually diminish as these tools rapidly get better. But that doesn't mean we should publish this content on our website without double checking. Take it from me, someone who was extremely anti-AI. If I can learn how to adapt and embrace this technology, so can you. And just like fire or electricity, yes, AI can be used for nefarious purposes, there's no doubt. But the question is, what will you do with it? Will you run away in fear and rob yourself of the amazing business growth you can have with AI? Or will you adapt and step into this new world? I can tell you there's no going backwards. From what I see, AI is only going to become a more integrated and critical part of our workflows. The sooner you start embracing it, the better. The sooner you start playing with these tools for yourself, learning how to use them, learning how to integrate them in your client processes, in your own businesses, the better. As the president at Continent Scale, part of my role is to help people like you adapt. I've seen freelancers reduce 50% or more of their workload by relying on our AI writer to produce the meat of their 2,500 plus word post, I've seen marketing agencies reduce the time and cost and headache that it usually takes to create this type of content by 10, if not 20 times. This is true freedom in your business. The ability to step away more, embrace life, solve bigger challenges, and let AI do the work you didn't really want to do anyway. AI is here to stay and the question we need to ask is how will we embrace and adapt correctly, accurately, and safely? I'd love to hear how you're using AI. Let me know in the comments of this video. We are on the cutting edge of a new frontier and it's truly exciting to be here. I'm honored to be in this role. I'm honored to help so many of you adapt wisely to the future of AI in content. And I hope we can continue to grow our businesses and our futures together. By the way, 70% of the script for this video was written by AI. I simply added in my personal experiences. And I think that goes to show you how advanced AI is. If it can write something so good, I was able to share it with you with heart and passion. Yes, ChatGPT wrote 70% of this script. I hope to see you on the other side of AI, immersing yourself in these tools, learning how to adapt. I look forward to seeing your creative use case of how you're applying this in your business and your life. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our content. And I'll see you in the next video.